Alright, Collins fam, we're back with another video. This video I thought about while I was at work and then I actually forgot about it and then it came back to me when I came home. So this video I'm basically it's just manifestation. I'm big on manifestations, I'm big on um like affirmations and stuff like that, writing down goals, like I was super I was super big on it like a year ago and then I hit hard times and I just fell off with a lot of different things, but I'm back, I'm better. So I wanted to do this with you guys. Maybe it's something that you guys might want to try at home. And then after we're finished with this section of the video, I got something else planned for later. But, so pretty much what I thought about while I was driving my truck, I think about a lot, um, is I'm going to write a letter to my older self. So I'm going to write a letter nothing too crazy just like you know telling 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 my older self what i hope to accomplish and that it was really hard during this time and you kept it pushing and look where you're at right now basically something summarized like that and then i'm gonna i don't know what i'm gonna do with the letter yet i don't want to keep it on on my person like in my wallet or anything like that i'm gonna put it somewhere to go back maybe 10 years from now and look at so this is my affirmations book. So you guys could take a little quick look at this. Uh, take a quick look. So one side says truth, real, solid, money, family, love. You will win. Save more, spend less, cause I don't know how to save at all. You guys, Mama Collins, it's not for me. Uh, out, of, out of comfort zone. You gotta get out of your comfort zone to become successful. Like, you can't sit there and be comfortable for the rest of your life and become successful. Unless you're doing OnlyFans. Oh! Know. Maybe, but if it's, like, anything that has to do with business, you got to get out of your comfort zone. And then at the bottom it says, what are you grateful for? And if you guys want to hear my affirmation, I remember I told you guys that I, do affirm I, I say an affirmation every morning when I'm writing down my goals and stuff, but... I'll tell you guys my, my affirmation. It's, I'm consistently growing and evolving into a better person. I'm freeing myself from all destructive doubt and fear. I accept myself for who I am and create peace, power, and confidence of mind and of heart. I'm going to forgive myself and free myself. I am blessed and unstoppable. So basically, I say this right before I write down what I'm, what my, what I'm grateful for. Look, I'll show you guys. I'm not, I don't want to really show you guys exactly what I write down every day, but like I put three three things I'm grateful for, three goals, and I put the date every time. So I'll say the affirmation. I'll write down what I'm grateful for. I'll write down three goals, and then I'll say the affirmation again. And that's basically my little morning routine. But enough of my morning routine. Maybe if that's something you guys want to try, you guys could try it but i think i i seen it somewhere and it makes me feel better it makes me feel good about myself you have to start off your day with gratitude it's something that i i think it was like a motivational video that i heard that from but here we go let's let's do exactly what i was saying earlier let's do the letter maybe there's something you guys might might want to try i don't know i thought about it i don't know It'll be cool, cause I've seen it on like TV shows, like high schools do it, like write letters to themselves or leave little things for herself, and then they go back to their high school reunion like years later and they see it and they're like, wow, I remember. So maybe this is something that I could maybe look forward to 10 years from now. I'll put an actual date on it. I wanna say 10 years from now, God's willing, I'm still alive and everything. But yeah, so let's do at the top, dare, Preston Collins. Okay. I'm going to start off with... So I put there, Kristen Collins. I know my name is kind of weird. Sometimes it sounds like I'm saying Kristen. Sometimes it sounds, it sounds like I'm saying Kristan. But honestly, it's just like... I myself don't even know how to pronounce my, my name properly and it makes me it makes me feel weird when I say Kristan. It just sounds kind of 
I don't know, ghetto or it sounds weird. So sometimes they say Kristen, but it's not Kristen because it's not an I N. It's just weird. And then my middle name is Modini. Ask my parents, don't ask me. But let's go. So I'm gonna put Dear Kristen Collins. I'm writing this on what's today's date? I gotta look up today's date. What's today's date? Uh, December. December. Fuck. I think it's December 14th. December 15th, 2022. I'm writing this. December, December 15th, 2022. My first job was at a chicken spot, Cluck You, Cluck You Chicken in Hoboken. It's currently Sticky's now. It's on Washington Street. That was the spot, but that's where my, that's where it all started for me. Cluck You, you went from Cluck You Chicken to getting your driver's license, then CDL, then CDL. I lost it. I could have wrote a lot more, but I'll leave it like this for now. But I'll read it back for you guys. Let me just put the date at the top as well. 12, 15, 20, 22. Okay, dear Kristen Collins, I'm writing this on December 15, 2022. You're doing great, King. I'm so proud of all of the things you accomplished to this moment. You have grown so much over the years. You went from Cluck You Chicken to getting your driver's license, then CDL, lost it, and got a real estate license, then got your CDL back. Your drive during this time was amazing. I know that by now you are super successful with whatever you are doing. I remember you wanted to be a homeowner, for sure, and own multiple businesses and properties, for sure. I know you definitely accomplished that by now. Keep grinding because a lot more to come. P.S. You wrote this with the Khan's family YouTube. So there we go. That's my little letter to myself. I want to say 10 years from now. So I'm going to have to find, matter of fact, I have a safe. And that safe, I, have, I also have envelopes. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the date on the envelope. I'm going to show you. I'm going to, I'll do it, and then I'll show it at the end of this video what the what the what the mail looks like. And I'm going to put the date ten years from now, and I'll open it ten years from now. Hopefully, I blew up on YouTube by then, and maybe I could do uh, unwrapping it and and reading it ten years from now to you guys. But if not, it's still I'm still doing this for myself. So. Maybe this is something you guys might try. If you guys do try it, comment. Let me know how it went. And let's keep working. Let's keep pushing. But I think it was a really good idea. And I'm feeling so, like, I'm feeling like a vibe right now. Like, like a whole, like, just watching this is just, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to look at it 10 years from now and really, like, maybe cry or something. So I, I think that might be a good thing. But 
what this next part of the video is, I'm reacting because I'm in the manifestation moment zone right now. I'm going to be eating my uh, meal prep and watching um, a video with the with the world's luxurious homes. Because I'm, 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 I'm definitely, at some point, maybe like in the next, God's willing, maybe the next three to four years, I want to be a homeowner. I want to have my kids, my girlfriend, which should be wife by then, uh, in a nice home. So I'm going to manifest it by watching, reacting to the video with the, like the most luxurious homes. And I'm going to put it like at the bottom of the screen so you guys can watch it with me. And then that'll be the banger for today. But I'll catch up with you guys once I get all the video and everything set up. Hi, right, Tom fam. I'm back. So this is the little letter. So I'm going to open this. God's willing, I'm still alive. December 15th, uh, 2032. I'll be opening this. So this is going to my safe. And hopefully I don't lose it. But now I'm gonna uh, put the little put a little video down here. I'm reacting to like a five minute. I think it's like five minutes and five minutes and uh, thirty minute, five minutes and thirty second video of like a couple luxury mansions manifestations as well. I want to own a mansion one day. I want to have a really nice house one day. I want to own multiple properties one day. So why not watch a little clip with some nice houses? So I'm gonna put it down like right now. Let's get to it. Villa N62A, Palm Jumeirah, $17 million. Of course, my first pick for the most luxurious home would be located in one of the most luxurious places in the entire world, Dubai. Oh, located Dubai. on one of Dubai's man-made islands, the Palm Islands, we have mm -hmm. a home that makes up for its relatively small size with the sheer amount of luxury and exclusivity That's that comes with it. Nestled deep into the heart of one of the fronds on the Palm Islands, this is like a prestigious out. villa that it's spread cool. gloriously over right three there. levels of its own private beach. Right there. The home comes Comes with five bedrooms and six bathrooms, a beachfront that offers the most serene panoramic sea views of the Dubai skyline, and is positioned to allow you to experience some intensely beautiful Dubai I'm gonna want a house in Dubai, though. Number 12, Villa Tahiti, $29 million. Located in Saint Tropez, France, we have a home that'll make you want to go on holiday just by the sight of it. Or maybe that's just me. This exquisitely decorated home sits on 58,000 square feet of land with 6,000 6, square, square feet of interior feet? space that spreads over two levels. The luxurious Tahiti villa was designed to offer a spectacular panorama over the Mediterranean and the Alps. Thanks in no small part to the huge bay windows that seamlessly integrate the sea views with a lush green environment of the estate. The windows aren't just great for the views either. They also guarantee beautiful I like those houses. light throughout the day pretty much anywhere you are. Be it the be spacious in the front of the living room and it has one like, of the ten on like suite bedrooms house. that come with this home. No, what really like puts parts. you in the holiday mood is the thousands of That's square nice feet house. worth of landscaped garden, the large 65 foot swimming pool, and the summer kitchen with a bar and an outdoor lounge. Pool. Number 11, Villa Olympics, $31 million. Next up, we have a true masterpiece of Spanish architecture. Located in the city of Marbella, tucked away in the most prestigious gated community in Cascada de Camohan, this luxurious resort-style villa is right on the foothills of the high Sierra Blanca mountains, meaning you get a view hardly matched in all of Spain. This estate sits on a 1.1 acre all lot, these pools with a home that covers 25,000 square feet. That's Every my square dreams foot of this pristine inbound. mansion offers the best of modern architecture infused with Mediterranean touches. Back. Villa Olympus was designed to take no, your breath away. This home provides you with nine bedrooms and 13 bathrooms. Residents enjoy a stunning living area with some of the most impressive views of the Mediterranean Sea and Africa, with plenty of amenities to boot. Located at the lower level of the villa, for example, is a state-of-the-art spa with a heated indoor pool, Turkish bath, this and sauna. The There's the also inside. the indoor gym, cinema room, and plenty of entertainment space that comes with this home. Number 10, 1233 Tecumseh Avenue, $33 million. Next up, 
we have a contemporary masterpiece. Located in the prestigious First Shaughnessy neighborhood in Canada, this right here is a home so modern, it looks like it's from the future. The architecture for this luxurious mansion was done by Airy Group. The landscaping by I'm Paul Sanka and the insane interior mm. design was done by HB Design. Yeah, I'll give you a second to write those names down. After looking at this, this place, house be so big that they have staff. Notable features of this home, despite well, uh, everything, include the nice high ceilings, elegant custom woodwork, in-house elevator, state-of-the-art LED lights, and the koi pond. If you're lucky enough to live here, you'd get to enjoy seven bedrooms, four of which are master bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and all 12,000 square feet of indoor bathroom? space. And if you want to enjoy all coming? of that alone, there's an accessory building on the property, perfect for guests and those in-laws you don't love. So let's open up PayPal and see if we did get the money. So let's just wait for this to load. So there you go. As you like, forty-eight million dollars for this house. Valley Trunk Estate, forty-eight million. Oh, there's one million right now. That's Located it. on the quiet island of, me out of death. Florida, in the British Virgin Wait, Islands, wait. we have a home luxurious enough to be a straight-up vacation resort, overlooking a pristine white sand beach over one thousand feet in length, called Big Trunk Bay. This home covers over eighteen acres of grounds, with a main house occupying a whopping 22,000 square feet of space. The main villa compound comprises six interconnected buildings. That's where you find the master suite plus nine other bathrooms. When you add that together with a two-bedroom manager house this and two is, staff if you have a house like come this, this place, not, you have a have home with 14 all bedrooms all and 14 bathrooms. I Imagine this place was a vacation resort. To top it all off, you have an estate that offers you the unique kind of privacy you can only get living on an island. Living areas that offer you beautiful Beautiful panoramic views of the sea, a swimming pool, a sauna. Yeah. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I made. It actually ended up longer than I thought, but I hope you guys actually do take my word for it and do one of these uh, manifestation letters to your future self from 10 years. It'll be pretty cool for all of us to do it. But, and I know you guys like those luxury homes. You can have any of those homes. Once you put your mind to it, anything is possible. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Peace.